Hello, welcome back. I'm Drone Tech, and I'm literally losing days of life for every minute I have to watch of the media's attempted PR recovery of Joe Biden's disastrous press conference yesterday. You got these public broadcasters who are also publicly funded by taxpayer dollars, like Yamanchi Alklandor, tweeting out how amazing the event was, contrary to what every normal human being witnessed. There's so much to say about President Biden's presser. The thing that sticks with me is that he took responsibility for for mistakes he made, expressing genuine frustration with COVID and his agenda being stalled by the GOP and Democrats and took hard questions without insulting folks. Wrong. You always ask me the nicest questions. I know you do. All right. I None of them make a lot of sense to me, but I... I you campaigned and, and you ran on a return to civility. And I know that you dispute the characterization that you called folks who would oppose those voting bills um, as being Bull Connor or, or George Wallace, but you said that they would be sort of in the, the same camp. No, uh, I didn't say that. Just look what I said. Go back and read what I said. Do you want to be the side, the side of Dr. King or George Wallace? Do you want to be in the side of John Lewis or Bull Connor? Do you want to be on the side of Abraham Lincoln or Jefferson Davis? This is the moment to decide. And tell me if you think I called anyone who voted on the side of the position taken by Bull Connor that they were Bull Connor. And that is an interesting reading of English. You, you, I assume you got in the, in the journals because you like to write. Biden talked foreign policy and didn't lash out at reporters. Quite the change. He took hard questions without insulting folks. And that is an interesting reading of English. You, you, I assume you got in the, in the journals because you like to write. And he did not take responsibility for his mistakes. He deflected on everything. You even admitted in your tweet that he blamed the GOP for his failures. There is no way to get out of Afghanistan after 20 years easily. Not possible, no matter when you did it. And I make no apologies for what I did. He took responsibility for mistakes he thinks he made. Yamanchi is just a straight up Biden regime mouthpiece. And while NPR doesn't receive a majority of its funding from taxpayer funds, it does receive 5.8% from the federal, state, and local government. In any case, it got me thinking about a year ago and just the over the top pro Biden propaganda that was gushing from the media at the time. They were saying things like, Biden is the better angel president. It was a thrill up their leg moment all over again. In the inaugural address, the beginning had a little bit of soaring rhetoric, a teeny bit at the end. In the middle, it sounded almost like a homily. I'm just talking to you. Mm -hmm. I'm in this vaunted position, but like a priest explaining something from the Bible or something, I'm breaking it down for you so we can all have a common language and a common understanding. To watch Joe Biden today, it was such a stark reminder of, of how as a country, we do seek out whatever we think we were missing you know, whatever it is we thought we were missing in the previous president. He is the better angel president. Today's inauguration felt more like a church service, right? I thought from, from Joe Biden today, certainly he was commander in chief, but he was also papa in chief. And this was about taking truth and reclaiming facts, George. Mark Updegrove, presidential historian. This was, we must not be enemies. We must not make friends of our enemies, as John Carl was just talking about. Echoes of Abe Lincoln. Contrast on display tonight was so stark. I mean, those lights that are that are just shooting out from the Lincoln Memorial uh, along the reflecting pool, it, I look, it's like almost extensions of Joe Biden's arms embracing America. Do you want to be the side, the side of Dr. King or George Wallace? Do you want to be in the side of John Lewis or Bull Connor? Do you want to be in the side of Abraham Lincoln or Jefferson Davis? This is the moment to decide. No, I didn't say that. Just look what I said. Go back and read what I said. And tell me if you think I called anyone who voted on the side of the position taken by Bull Connor that they were Bull Connor. And that is an interesting reading of English. You, you, I assume you got in the, in the journals because you like to write. Unfortunately, it did not go as they planned with Biden failing at everything he touches while also being completely blissfully unaware of his failures. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, maybe share it, and then leave me a comment to let me know what you think.